things get really exciting with the System 1 when you integrate it into your Eurorack system. When the System 1M becomes this giant super module in your modular synthesizer. To do that, it's as simple as powering the unit from the standard sort of Eurorack ribbon cable, 12-pin ribbon cable, that's provided with the synth. So here's the cable here. And you make sure the polarity's right. Look for the red line on the cable. Line that up with the minus 12-volt pin on your bus board, and away you go. You can drop the unit right in. It fits perfectly in any standard Eurorack. And obviously, I'd screw in four screws and take this on the road with me. So here it is uh, integrated in the Eurorack. And I've patched the left and right mini jack outputs into the left and right input of my audio interface, uh, Eurorack audio interface. And there we go. So, but. The excitement here is that I might be able to now use CV and gate and CVs and gates and all kinds of controls and audio from my Eurorack with the System 1M. So to do a little, uh, to get myself started with that, I thought why not use the System 1 as a controller, as a keyboard, and uh, the System 1 has standard MIDI out and USB MIDI. So I'm taking the output from the System 1 patching it into the SBX1, right? And I'm converting with the SBX1 into standard CV and gate. And so, very simply. Right? So I'm able to just play now this synthesizer, program it, save, store, remember my patch configurations with this keyboard. The System 1 keyboard controller has a fantastic arpeggiator and keyhole feature. Let's put that on for a second. Now, what's important about this is when you start to use CV and gate with the System 1M, you might need to tune the range of the control voltage so that it plays octaves in tune, so that it plays two octaves in tune, get the calibration right. You're going to want to read the manual on this to remember the key combination. Um, I just read the manual, and so let me tell you the key combination here in this video. So when you hold down the noise type, you can fine tune. Your octaves. When I hold down oscillator type, I can fine tune this value. And in fact, the LEDs actually light up, well, the jacks light up to show you by how much you're detuning 30%, 40%, 50%, etc. So you actually get a visual display with the lighted jacks as to how, you're, how much you're detuning the oscillator. In fact, if you hold down ring and sync, you can, you can totally detune, course tune, oscillator two relative to oscillator one. And then when you're playing, there's actually a fine tune control on oscillator two to do some beating and chorus the sound a little bit by ever so slightly detuning. So, when you get started using CV and gate and control voltages with the System 1M, remember, there's gonna be a little calibration necessary at the beginning. Look in the manual, play octaves, play fifths, play two octaves, and Course tune and then fine tune your CV range so that your synthesizer plays in tune.